You gotta get it. Today they are going to be using the concept of force motion and energy to construct a roller coaster that will allow a marble to drop from the beginning and be able to go through a loop and land in a cup without falling off the track. We are here at Hill Point Elementary School and um, our second Family Engineering Night of the Year is just getting started. We do these events to give parents and their children the opportunity to come out to school, um, to engage together in something fun, but also something educational. This actually allows them the time to actually design it, construct it, test it several times to make sure that it works. These events give children the opportunity to think critically and creatively and to see how engineering impacts their lives on a daily basis. Building roller coasters was just one part of Family Engineering Night. More than 75 students and their parents put the fun back into learning. Families tested science concepts, giving them experiences they're not soon to forget. Oh, the, the children get very excited over these kinds of activities because they are very hands-on. Children always like to do things that involve using their hands and building. The parents have seemed to respond very well to the activities too, and I think they enjoy them as much as the children do. When you do hands-on learning, the children are more fully engaged, and I've also noticed that children um, have a tendency to want to continue working until they succeed. Um, they, they become very um, driven to complete the activity. It's really a good uh, parent-student type of activity and it's very engaging and it's just a lot of fun. When the focus is science, technology, engineering, and math projects, also known as STEM, you don't have to be a math whiz or scientist to get started. If you'd like to engage your kids in hands-on learning projects, search the web for STEM projects at home or go to pbskids.org slash design build for ideas. Have fun learning!